guys. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I am Shelly and I'm doing a repurpose on this shutter. I got this shutter off the side of the road. Somebody had it out there for free so I thought it would be great to pick up and do a little something different with it. So first thing I'm going to do is use my white chalk paint and I'm going to paint it I wiped it down and cleaned it first, but I'm going to paint it up and give it a nice white paint job with the chalk paint. And it actually had I had to put on two coats. The first coat you could see the tannins from the uh, stain coming through, so I put on a second coat. Got it in all the cracks and crevices the best I could. I took it downstairs and gave it a spray on the back of black spray paint instead of doing it all white on the other side and um, it came out really nice so it was finished on both sides. So after I did that I took it downstairs when it was dry and I sanded it down and brought it back down to the wood in spots to give it a more rustic look. And so that's what I'm trying to do is give it a little antique rustic look, a little primitive uh, in there as well. So this is my Waverly wax that I have that I got from uh, Walmart, I believe. And I am putting it on all over. As you can see, it's distressed with uh, my sander. And I'm just trying to get that that wax to sit in some of the crevices and in the spots where I went down to the bare wood. So I'd like to thank that crafting lady and Melissa Makes It DIY for hosting an open collaboration for Thrifty Crafting Thursday. That's what this video is for. Um, you needed to get an item less than five dollars which my shutter was free uh, and all the stuff that I use except for a couple of the items which I'll point out are just out of my stash of stuff so the descript down in the description will be the playlist for this open collaboration along with their channel uh, links as well so I after the shutter had dried uh, I had taken it back downstairs and re-sanded it and took off some of that antique wax and brought it brought back some of the lighter color uh, and antiqued it up and distressed it a little bit more. So now I'm going to take this uh, twine or not twine but this twig garland that I have. Um, I think it's like willow garland maybe. Um, and just something that I had kicking around for quite a while uh, and I decided to make a little wreath with it in the middle of my shutter and I had to break some pieces off and kind of intertwine them together so I set it on the middle of the shutter and used my hot glue and put a ton of hot glue on the middle of that to hold that down because it just didn't want to cooperate um, and I held that down until it was nice and dry and it would stay when I let it go um, it was really giving me kind of a hard time there for a while but I got it to stay um, it's gonna hang on the wall so I wanted to make sure that it was going to to hang and not fall off So the next thing I did was get my moss out and I'm going to make kind of a nest in the middle of this wreath with this uh, moss that I have and I'm just going to stick it in there, glue it nice and um, a lot so that it will stay and just stick it in the middle and kind of fluff it out and push it in and make it look kind of like a little nest really. It's like a little bird's nest. Push it down and it's just a bunch of tweaking and trimming and getting all the the little pieces off so that I can see what it's gonna look like. I think it's starting to look really cute. 
excited to see the finished product. So the next thing I'm going to show you is a little metal uh, rooster or chicken. I think it looks more like a rooster. Uh, Christmas ornament that I got from Tractor Supply. It was $3 on sale and I purchased it just for this particular um, project on the shutter. So I'm going to glue him right to the middle of the little nest that I made. And um, I'm also putting moss around the outside of the, um, the wreath to kind of fluff it up and make it look a little bit bigger. And so he stands out a little bit. Adds a little finishing touch. So I went all around the reef with the moss around the outside. And then I gave it a little haircut and kind of trimmed off some of the crazy little, little pieces of moss sticking out that um, just didn't want to cooperate with sticking down. And then I'm going to put my little rooster on. I'm going to glue him down really good so that he'll stay. Again, I'm going to hang him on the wall. So I want to make sure that nothing falls off it. I want to make sure the moss is stuck down really well. The wreath is stuck down really well. The rooster is on really well. And make sure that they're nice and secure. So I'm just holding down to make sure that it stays. And then I'm just taking some of the sticks that fell out of the, the wreath that I made because as you bend it, it kind of kind of uh, pieces break off. And I just thought it would be fun to stick them in and just kind of give them a random look of sticking them in and having them stick out. And then I have some of these uh, pit berries. I have a ton of these. And so I grabbed some uh, burgundy ones and just stuck them in and kind of made them go around the wreath a little bit and um, make a little, you know, stick them in the nest and make them look cute. And I glued those in so those are secure. And so that when it hung on the wall, those wouldn't fall off either. so that I've got those all zhuzhed in there just right. I have a bless our home sign. This was the other thing that I had purchased, not really for this um, project, but it's something that I had just in case I did something like this. And that was, I believe, $1.99. So I kept it under $5, it was $4.99 for everything. Um, and I'm gonna stick that right on the top. I'm just showing you that I ripped off some, uh, I don't know what color, I guess that was the black and tan uh, material that I had. And I just ripped off a strip to make a nice bow. And decided to put that right on the top and hang that down. It's coming together pretty nicely, I think. I just take some tweaking with that bow a little bit and then I glued it down and then I'm gonna go ahead and trim the edges so that they uh, I'm sorry the tails so that they um, aren't so long I want them kind of long but not too long so just cut them off at an angle had some little straggler uh, pieces of thread that came out when I pulled it off so I'm just kind of trimming those up too. So now I'm going to put the little sign right on the very top 
and I think it came out really cute. What do you think? Oh, I think this came out so cute. I love the antiquing distressing on it. And of course I love the chicken and the little nest in the middle. And I think it would be the perfect piece to put in a farmhouse rustic kitchen, dining room, living room, wherever. I think it's adorable. Hope you guys like it too. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Check the link down below for the uh, two channels that are hosting this um, collaboration and for the playlist as well. Please subscribe, like, leave a comment, and have a great day. Thank you. Take care.